Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Yesterday, I Will Dominate tweeted out this little spreadsheet thing that he made where he pretty much went through every single player in the LCS, gave them a rating out of 99 if it was like NBA 2K or FIFA or something like that. Um, and he had these whole rankings where he ranked every single player, ranked every single position, gave every team an overall ranking. And it really got me thinking that one, I, I really love that idea. So I wanted to do it myself. And I did. I made my own spreadsheet with all my uh, player rankings and team rankings, all that stuff. But I also turn some of the top players into these little trading cards that are supposed to be like ultimate team type cards obviously and I thought it was a really cool idea I thought it was really interesting um, so I wanted to show this stuff to you guys uh, we're gonna be going through my top 10 players in the league um, showing off their cards and then I'll show you guys my full ranking stuff as well this was very very difficult to do um, there's 50 players in the LCS you're looking at so many different players so many different variables it's hard to come up with a number it's hard to compare players and always decide exactly who you think's better especially when they're on different teams they were on different leagues last year they're on different rosters this year they played different positions it's all super super hard but i did my best i'm for sure gonna have things wrong i'm for sure gonna have things right um but i think it'll be interesting to talk about so uh with that being said uh before we get into this i just want to mention real quick if you're not already subscribed definitely click that subscribe button it's fast free it's easy helps me out a ton and i would appreciate it helps you guys stay up to date on all the latest content um, yeah, like I said, we recently hit 5,000 subs. That's awesome. Let's keep it going. With that being said, here we go. Uh, so first, my top 10 list, these little cards I made. I did a bunch of different art styles and stuff with the nationalities, the logos, um, and then the card designs and stuff. First up, at number 10, we have FBI. Um, I actually have a couple people at 89 overalls, um, but I decided to go with FBI. I wanted to highlight him. I have him as the highest ranked 80 carry. I have him a little bit better in Sven, a little bit better in tactical. I know it's kind of a controversial opinion, but I think um, he really, really impressed me last year. I think he's going to be good into 2021. This whole 100 these roster looks really really exciting um so yeah number 10 i have fbi up next at number nine i have power of evil in the mid lane again i have a couple people at 90 overall so these are in no particular order for the 90s power of evil he's replacing bjergsen i think he did an awesome uh job with FlyQuest last year i think he's done an awesome job in his career i'm excited for him I've got him as a 90 overall. Um, another 90 overall I have is Vulcan. Um, this is kind of another controversial one. Some people are saying Vulcan's going to be better in Sword Art. Some people are saying Sword Art's going to be better. I have Vulcan at a 90 overall. I think he was good with Cloud9 last year. Um, but again, he ends up finishing fourth place in North America. Not entirely his fault, but he didn't make it to Worlds. He looked amazing at times last year, but obviously towards the end, something was going wrong. Still, I think he's very, very good. 90 overall is a great rating. Then uh, we have Someday also at a 90 overall. Um, this is a guy who I think he's going to benefit greatly um, from the improved roster around him this season. I already think he was a beast last year, but I think he was a little bit misused and didn't have that great of a roster. I think individually, Someday is a beast. I gave him a 90 overall. Um, next up at 91, we're getting to the 91 rated. I have Jensen. He is a absolute beast in mid lane for Team Liquid. Has been for a long time. I mean, for the longest time, any team that's had Jensen has been one of the best teams in North America. Um, obviously, he's a resident mid laner now too, which is so, so valuable. I mean, he has been, but uh, that is so, so good for him. Um, I wish he's a little bit more consistent internationally, maybe before I can bump him up, but I think 91 is a good place to start. It's a great rating for him. I have him as the second best mid laner. Um, next up at 91 overall, I have Sword Art. Again, this one's a little bit controversial because a lot of people are saying, oh, Sword Art should be below a 90. Um, he got carried at Worlds. He got carried to the World Finals, blah, 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 blah. He wasn't the best support in the LPL, blah, 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 blah. I still think he was very good. I, was he amazing? Was he the hard carry? Was he the reason that Sooning Gaming made it to the World Finals? No, but he was still very, very good. I think people are selling him short. I think he is better than Vulcan for sure. I mean, not for sure. I think they're very similar, but I would put Sword Art ahead of him. Um, again, Sword Art is at the World Finals. Uh, Vulcan is not even making it to the World Qualifiers, the World Play-Ins. I don't know. It's a tough sell for me. I have Sword Art above him. Maybe I'm being a TSM fanboy. Maybe I'm seeing stuff wrong. Uh, I don't know. I got Sword Art as a 91 overall. Next up, we have San Torin, the new jungler for Team Liquid. I think he is the best jungler in North America. He is so, so consistent. He's an absolute rock. I think Team Liquid got a huge pickup. I think he's going to be a huge uh, improvement over Brox, and I'm really, really excited for him. And speaking of Team Liquid, I also have a 92 overall Alfari headed to the top lane. This is a guy who I think is going to benefit greatly. Moving over to North America, he was a beast in Europe, but now he's playing on the best team in North America and potentially even a team that has a chance to go to Worlds and do some damage. Um, paired up with San Torin, they're going to be an, uh, an insane duo i think they're both really really going to benefit from that um i'm as 92 he's a top top four player for me um next up 
we get some more controversy at 95 overall i have core jj i do have him as the second best player in north america i think there's only two options for the top spot core jj perks whichever way you go i would not really argue too much but one i'm just super super hyped up for perks and two perks resume is absolutely insane msi title msi msi finals he's made it to a word world final um he's been able to carry so many different rosters um as ad carry as mid lane i think he's so so talented um but Core JJ is still a beast as well, obviously. But I just have perks a little bit ahead of him. Core JJ is absolutely insane as Odin Wright. Obviously, he has that world championship under his resume. But he doesn't have um, necessarily the consistent accomplishments over the career that necessarily Perks has. Um, yeah, they played on a lot of different teams and rosters and stuff. Um, Core JJ is great. But that's just why I have Perks a little bit ahead of him. I have Core JJ as a 95. And then, obviously, our last guy being Perks. I'm super, super excited for him to be coming over. Um, but again, whether you think Perks is a 97, 96, 95, Core JJ is a 97, 96, 95, I don't think you can really go too wrong in any of those spots. Um, here's my full list for anyone interested in that. Um, this is my ranking of all 50 players in the LCS. Again, there's going to be some stuff that you don't agree with. There's going to be some controversy here. I have Iconic as the lowest player at 65, all the way up to Perks at a 96. And then here is my rankings for the 10 teams in the LCS when you average them out. I have Team Liquid at 91 overall, Cloud9 and 89, 100 Thieves, TSM, FlyQuest, EG, CLG, Immortals, Dig, and GGS. I thought it was interesting that uh, I think my ratings must have been pretty similar to what uh, I think is going to happen because uh, this is pretty much my exact LCS standings uh, projection, except I do have TSM finishing above 100 Thieves, but 100 Thieves has a very, very good team, but TSM just has some big question marks in Lost, um, who I have an 80 overall and uh, Huni, who I have at a 79 overall. So that does bring TSM's uh, roster down a little bit. And 100 Thieves, the only big question I have for them is DeMonte, who I actually have an 83. So he's obviously a little bit higher. And then 100 Thieves has a lot of guys ranked pretty high for me. Someday at 90, FBI at 89. Um, they do have a, a lot of good talent. Um, I have 80 carry as kind of the lowest position with FBI 89, Savannah 88, and Impact at 80, or uh, and Tactical at 87. Um, I think 80 carries are solid in North America, but none of them really impressed me too much last year. We didn't really have any, any insane, just absolute massive, massive carries. Um, but yeah, here is my whole list, just a bunch of different stuff to check out and go through. Um, I know a lot of this has been reflected in my tier list and stuff already. Um, and, and again, this was really, really hard to do deciding, uh, who's, a who, like once you get into the eighties and seventies, it's hard. Once you get into the low sixties, it's hard. Like how much do you value what people did in Academy or what they did in amateur, what they've done in a different league before? I know like a guy like Jose Diodo, I'm really, really excited for, but he's got to prove it to me on the main stage. Um, some of these older guys like Dardock and, and Aframu, I don't know. There was a lot of hard people to rank but i tried basing off my tier list i tried basing off i will dominate so it's a little bit just kind of get a general census of where you'd rate these players um but yeah i just thought this was a really really interesting concept kind of getting this idea of bringing these players into like uh, a 2k or a fifa or something like that um and also trading cards are pretty popping right now you know nba nfl cards pokemon cards all that stuff so i thought the idea of cards um was pretty interesting and again uh, my final ratings, whether you disagree or agree or whatever, I thought they did come out pretty nicely um, with what I projected the standings to be. So they must be at least in some kind of correct ballpark. Fudge was another guy who I thought was super high, super hard to rank. I'm at 82 as a rookie coming in. I don't think having him on about the same level as Poe Belter is that bad. Some people are going to take that as like a, you know, a slight on him or something, but I don't think it's too bad. Um, I have Speak at 87. I know a lot of people are saying uh, there's a lot of debate right now who's better between Speaker and Blabber. I don't think you can really put Speaker above Blabber just yet, um, but that's tough. That's where I have it. Um, and then I thought Jensen was super hard to rate. Alfari, what's he going to do in the LCS? Um, just, just a lot, of, but definitely Sword Art and Vulcan are, is also a lot of. Uh, uh, where a lot of debate lies right now, but also a lot of the new uh, OPL guys coming in as well, like Ray's Destiny. Um, it, it's hard to rank these guys, but but this was really fun to do. It was really exciting. As soon as I saw Dominate post that, I was like, dude, I have to do this. I want to do this. Um, but yeah, I want to see your guys' list as well. If you guys ever want to tweet at me, comment down below, anything. It's hard to make a huge long list like this, but if there's anything you think right, wrong, whatever, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Which car did you think the, was the coolest? Which ratings would you change? What I get right? What I get wrong? All that good stuff. Um, what teams do you think I should have rated a little bit differently? I, you know, I, I could definitely be wrong about some of these players. Again, a lot of these guys. I watch a ton of competitive League of Legends. I watch a ton of LCS, watch a ton of LEC. I haven't seen a ton of OPL. I haven't seen a ton of Academy. I've seen people um, play, you know, when they've gotten time in the LCS. I've seen some of the bigger Academy games and stuff. But it can be tough to watch all these games. Um, 
but yeah, I'm doing my best. And again, these are just my opinions because in the end, nobody really knows what's going to happen in 2021. It's going to be really interesting uh, to find out. Subscribe to update on the latest content. Check me out over Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.